Welcome to It's Your Date with Destiny with Apostle Vivian and Pastor Gemma Duncan of Divine Destiny Worship Center in Diego Martin. For the next 30 minutes, join us as we take you on a journey of maximizing your potential and realizing your goals through Jesus Christ. Why is it when you need a miracle, it doesn't happen, but when you least expect it, it happens? You are married. You have challenges in your relationship, but your spouse is unwilling to accede to any counseling. Is divorce an option? I'm no How does a parent handle a promiscuous child? A what are considered the do's and, and do's of a born-again so couple who is not yet married? There are always more questions than answers. That be so here is wall. Apostle Gemma. Grace and peace to you. Welcome to Ask Pastor Gemma. If this is your first time, my name is Gemma Duncan. My husband, Apostle Vivian Duncan, and myself are the pastors of Divine Destiny Worship Center. Our headquarters is located in Digo Martin, on the Digo Martin Main Road, opposite Southern X Drive. We have branches in Sangre Grande, in Faisabad, in Shobonas. There's one branch in Tobago and another in Antigua. Our regularly scheduled services Sunday morning at 9 a.m. live and online in each branch on Thursdays at 7 p.m. online, School of Intercession with Apostle Vivian Duncan, and on Fridays at 7 p.m. online. Our office hours are Monday to Thursday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. and the business center is opened Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Today, I uh, want to share with you a prophetic word that Apostle Vivian uh, delivered concerning Trinidad and Tobago. It's a good word and it's good news. So it's great that we would want to share the good news from uh, God's heart himself for the people of Trinidad and Tobago. You need to call up somebody and say to them, uh, there's a prophetic word for Trinidad and Tobago that every single person who has any kind of concern for Trinidad and Tobago should want to hear. It has already gone far and wide, you know, all over the place, Europe, people have called from England, United States and everywhere. And so we don't want to be living here and missing from it. There are a couple of takeaways that I have from the prophetic word is that number one, that we need to prepare ourselves for it. So when you listen to the word, get your pen, get your paper, jot down as much as you can and see what adjustments you need to make in your life. Secondly, you need to maximize the season. In other words, whatever it is that God is saying, coming down, ensure that you get it and you make use of it. Next, prayerfully ask God what to do with the blessings that will come because part of the whole prophetic word is financial blessings, windfalls and all kinds of good fortunes will come to us who obey God and you know do exactly what he says to us as individuals. So what should I do? Each individual will have specific instructions. Next, you need to formulate a list of priorities as to what is important. If God blesses me, what it is I must do, what must come first, what, what must come second. Uh, some money comes into your hands, you can't just go willy-nilly and spend. You have to find out from God specifically what it is you want me to do with this money. And I left this one for last. It's really not last, not least. But make sure that God, you, God gets his share. Your tithes, your offerings. And many times, Holy Spirit will tell you, bless this person, do this, do the other. Be sure to obey what God is doing simply because remember a, a season like this will not last forever so it means i must invest and invest in a variety of places and so that harvest will come to me in other words if god blesses you with finances your money must work for you whatever you get uh, you have to plant seeds invest and whatever so that it will go on even after the season is over 
I'm very excited about it. I and all am going to follow the instructions that I'm giving you to ensure that I make full use of what God is doing in this season. Remember, uh, you have to be spiritually prepared. It's an all-round blessing to the people of God, spirit, soul, and body. So we need reconnection with God as well. says, I'm the God of your country. I'm the God of Trinidad and Tobago. Masekorobo. And it matters not, it matters not what they say. Whether it's from the government side or the opposition side, I am God of this land. My plan will be revealed and it will prevail. Amen. And my plan is to prosper this nation in spite of the resources I place in it. Because when I speak, I create atmospheres that are pregnant with blessings. Keep your ears open. Keep your eyes open for headlines in this nation before the year is over. Get accustomed to this word again. Prosperity. Ah, not just your personal prosperity, but the prosperity of the nation. For they'll be coming from the far east. They'll be coming from deep south. They'll be coming from the north. They'll be coming from Europe to come into this land, to invest in this land. We will be amazed Amen. as to the billions of dollars that will be invested in this land. Mm. Many major manufacturing Companies, brand name companies will come to this land, Karabashondo, to lease spaces in industrial estates, to set up manufacturing establishments. For the days of the complaints, the days of the mantra that goes on in this land. No jobs, no jobs, no jobs for the youths. That's why they are murdering. I prophesy to you, it's going to shift. Yeah. And watch, 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 watch the nations and the institutions that lend the money. Watch them. They'll be lining up to invest in Trinidad and Tobago. For God says the hands of the grabbers, I will lock them behind their back and they will not be able to get it. For I respond to the praises of my people. Not the crying and the bawling of the politicians. Rabba Kashanda, even the most astute of all of them as planners, they cannot outplan what I have to do. Yeah, they can state the budget, they can state the plan, they can state what, but I have a plan for this land. I told you before, I'll make it a beacon to the rest of the world. Mm. I'm raising, I'm raising, I'm raising the profile of your nation to be numbered among the greats. 
and I will shut the mouths of the gainsayers. Who every time they open their mouths is to tear down this land. I put you in this land. And there are cattle on a thousand hills. That talks. It's a metaphor about my provision. Everywhere. I get worship. Everywhere I get praise. I create that scenario. Where there's always provision. For my worshipers. For my praisers. Rabonde ki araba shanda koto robo kushata. For none of my people, none of my people must be less than what I have spoken for them. Must own less than what I have provided for them. None of my people must be lined up looking for food to be given to them. I, your God, will stand by my word. I say, I stand by my word. Shabonde Rabakashando Mandoko Robokushata Abasanda Arabashande Karabasanda. My God, every, every negative word that has been spoken concerning. The one element I've given to this land for its prosperity, I will shut their mouths. There are deposits of oil and natural gas that the drillers have not yet found. Some on land and some in the ocean. Mando Brambande Katayaraba Kasundo. Ama Satayaraba Kasundo. For for there will be, there will be Masandaraba Kasha. A call, a call. There will be a Shataraba Kasundo. There will be a passion, a wanting of the oil and the gas. That will be found even before this year is out. There are some grades of gas, grades of oil that the drillers have not yet found. Not just the deposits, but the grades, the grades. The level of what they call the viscosity of that oil that will be found will amaze everyone. Oh no, it's not just Saudi Arabia that has that. I put it here in this land. And it will come. It will come to pass. Masiko Robo Kusha Tayara Basanto Rabakasa Tayara Mando Bribandoski Araba Shandai. E masanta yarabaku manda e bakuto robo arabasanda when your son when your daughter wants to choose that subject area to study tell them do do engineering get into engineering get into all the different types of engineering because when that boom comes again rabba I want some of my people to grab hold of it because the boom is coming again. We, we shout it from the mountaintop. I prophesy by God's authority, hallelujah, that, that the mouths of the gainsayers who stand in the parliament and say this nation is going to crash, crash. I prophesy their mouths are going to be shut. Yeah. And my name will be glorified. My name will be glorified. Maseko Robo Kushata Yerabasando. Oh, Father, we give you the praise. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. 
It won't work. We sing it on behalf of Trinidad and Tobago. Hallelujah. That me is this nation. Not the political party, but the nation. Sing that again, prophesy. Shababando. And it was God do what he said he will do. He will stand he by his will. word. like that no, no. by yourself. Help us, Lord, to reshape our thinking. We've been bom bombarded by the headlines, by the radio, the TV. The cell phone. But we live by truth will meditate on your word. We'll feed our minds with your word. We'll nourish our thinking with your word. We'll exercise our mind. We'll build muscles in our minds by your word. Because the Lord has said if we abide in you and your word abides in us, then we will ask what we want and it shall be granted. You have spoken. We stand by your word. So let it be. In the name of Jesus. Somebody give the Lord a thunderous <laughs> round. There's an outpouring of abundance, of abundance, new doors have been opened, the land, it is green, a new grace has been released, the glory, the glory of It's all here. Lift up your hands, come on. The glory of the ladder is greater than the former. The blessing is here. It's all here. All here. There's another flow. Abundance of favor. It's a new level. It's a new level. Abundance of blessings, a 
Grace and peace to you. My name is Gemma Duncan. My husband, Apostle Vivian, and I are the pastors of Divine Destiny Worship Center. We have branches in Trinidad, Indigo Martin, Sangre Grande, Shawanas, and Faisabad. We have one branch in Tobago and a branch on the island of Antigua. Today, I want to introduce to you what I consider a life altering program. A program that is destined to change the trajectory of your life forever. And a program that caters from the pulpit to the pews. I'm going to share just parts of two scripture verses, 2 Timothy 2.15. It says, study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needed not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. And secondly, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 17, which says, And take the helmet of salvation, the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. I want you to answer these questions honestly. Do you want to understand the Bible better? Would you like to overcome the difficulty of grasping the content of the Bible? Is it challenging for you to remember your pastor's sermons? Do you feel that you retain very little from your Bible reading? We have the solution to that problem. School of the Bible. Let me tell you a little bit about School of the Bible. School of the Bible was established as a, an offering from Divine Destiny Worship Center in 2014. It's a one-year program. We meet every Tuesday from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. It's an online program and until we get enough persons who are willing to come to a physical class, it will remain online. We've served over 800 students from USA, Europe, Canada, the Caribbean islands, and Trinidad and Tobago over those years from 2014, 10 plus years. And you can choose from four tracks, the all-in track, the auditing track, the auxiliary track, and the ancillary track. The all-in track is the one, obviously, that you have to do all the work, and it is work. It's a school, it's a one-year study, it's work. You have a pretest, a post-test. Initially, the pretest is just to determine how much you know, and the post-test is to determine how much you learned over the period. You have to do assignments and assessments, book reports, and uh, group reports, because you'll be put in a group. And uh, one five-minute sermon is compulsory for the entire year, just five minutes, because we want to teach you how to share the gospel and convince somebody in as little as five minutes. The auditing track, again, you have to do the pretest and posters, but no assessment, no assignments. You have to do the book reports, individuals and group reports, and one sermon. The auxiliary track is less work again. Pretest, posters, book reports, group reports, individual report. But for the auxiliary group, the book report is just a two page summary. The other groups will have to do full length book reports and the sermonette. The fourth group is called the ancillary track. And all you are obligated to do is 90% attendance. You must be on camera and you must participate in a group because you will be placed in a group. The required materials, your Bible, you must have a computer, a laptop or a tablet or an iPad and seven SOTV or School of the Bible manuals that we will provide for you. 
And these seven manuals are the books of the law, the books of history, the books of poetry, the books of prophecy, the gospels, the letters of Paul, the general letters, and revelation. Contact us at Divine Destiny Worship Center, DDWC, phone number 1-868-633-3780 or SOTB at DDWC.net. Request a brochure and one will be sent to you. See you in School of the Bible in 2025. God bless you real good. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except by me.